guys, this is just a short little video uh, that I've been meaning to do for a while. Um, the lifting stands that I uh, showed on a video a year or two ago, uh, even though they're very good stands, they do have some risk involved in them. And I've been thinking of a way to make them fail safe, uh, and I've done that. Uh, the modification to the stands costs about another $150 uh, in materials, and uh, it's a, it takes the form of uh, some slotted angle that I've uh, welded securely to the face of each of the stands and the use of pins with a two and a half ton shear strength um, that allows the pins to be placed under the stand as it's lifted to act as a backup to the jack should the jacks ever fail. Um, now, I mean, each of the stands are only, only subject to about six, seven hundred kilos, so they're well within the limitations of the jacks, but uh, having a fail safe should a jack fail uh, is really, really important. Uh, one, you don't want to drop the boat, and two, you don't want to get squashed by the boat. Um, so I'll show you what I mean, um, what I've done with the stands, and how these uh, shape safety pins work. So this is the lifting stand that uh, I made uh, in another video some time ago. And having thought about it a bit, I've actually decided to add some safety features to these stands um, because I was relying on bits of wood and such to hold them up when in fully up position. So I've decided to make uh, some safety backups on each stand. Now the safety backups are in the form of uh, slotted angle. It's been securely welded onto the, uh, each of the stands um, and it allows for a safety pin, which is a high tensile 14 millimeter bolt to be put through the slots as you lift the stand and completely locks the stand together with the uh, support beam so that nothing can actually come apart at all if the jack was to fail. The slotted angle is uh, 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter uh, by five millimeter thick angle and the slots are 14 millimeters by 25 millimeters. Um, and they're really, really, it's, there's not many places that sell them, but uh, if you look around, you'll find places that will sell this particular material. And it's very easy to weld to the face of the stands and provide you a nice, evenly spaced series of holes to back up the lifting as the boat is lifted up using the high lift jacks. Right, so you can see the bit, of the bit of angle that's welded to the uh, base of the supporting beam that runs up and down the face of the stand. And the angle itself uh, fits between the two slotted angle uprights that I've welded onto the stands. And uh, also locks the bolt into position if the stand should fall. Uh, so it hooks over the bolt and will hold the stand to the beam securely. Uh, before this we had the uh, jacks lifting the stands with not much else other than the jacks which I wasn't really happy with so now we have a backup system that will allow the uh, stands to work safely even if the jacks fail it will still keep the boat supported. And the safety bolts uh, that I'm using to back up the jacks are rated to a shear strength of about two and a half tonnes. Um, so, and as is each of these stands are not really experiencing more than about six to seven hundred kilos, um, they're well and truly rated for the job, um, and gives me confidence that these stands are nice and secure. 